Well, this is an awkward way to start off the episode. I'm dreaming about my big brother. Oh, trust me. This will be the least awkward part of this episode. What do you mean? Keske, what's going on? Two words. Cross-dressing. Anyone who isn't me, got him sexy. Well, that was a weird dream. What happened? Um, I already forgot. So anyways, thanks to the Emperor, or should I say Hotahori, we have a plot. Now if we could just get some character development going, maybe a romantic interest. By the way, I'm totally not trying to lead you on right now, so don't get confused later in the episode if I'm with another girl. Awkward. Let's go see Hotahori now. Hey, Hotahori. What you reading? The scroll not only contains the story of the gods, but also how to find the seven warriors of Suzaku. They are Chichiri, Tamahome, Noriko, Hotahore, Chiriko, Tasuke, and Mitsukake. If you gather them, then you will be granted the power of Suzaku and be granted any wish you desire. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get searching. I bet one of them is here in the palace. I can feel it. Are these really all the warriors in the Empire? Yes, that's right. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just that you all seem like a bunch of ugly pansies. Huh? I mean, seriously, who are you trying to kid? You couldn't even keep me and Tamahome locked up in the last episode. Arr. You all suck. Seriously, you should all quit your day jobs. You're more qualified as florists than guardsmen. How? How dare you? Looks like I might have pissed them off. Running away now. He threw that. You could have seriously hurt someone. Oh, shit, the building's falling down. I should probably come back. Look out. You idiot. If you didn't cover me like that, I could have just run out of the way. Miyaka, Tamahome, hang on. Need a hand? Huh? Found ya. Seriously, you could have gotten out of the way in time. I think I'm going to have a random flashback to five seconds ago. Tamahome just saved my life. While we were buried, my heart was pounding. I think that maybe... Could it be? Am I in love with him? Or it could have just been adrenaline. More than likely. But considering this is shoujo anime, it's love. Oh, enough of this mushy inner monologue. It's making me sick. I'm Noriko, by the way. Time to add in some unnecessary drama by being an utter bitch and toying around with other people's feelings. I'll start with you. Well, that was totally uncalled for. What a fucking bitch. You know, there's something really odd about that Noriko lady. If only I could remember that dream from this morning. I have a feeling that would make some sense out of things. Miyaka! Get out of here, you insensitive prick! Going back to my earlier thought, I think I'll make friends with Noriko. Yeah, that's a good idea! You want to be my friend? Yes, I do! But I clearly don't like you. I've even taken the liberty of tying up your love interest and making you insanely jealous. You must be one of those hopeless cases. Well then, I'll make it my personal responsibility to teach you how to take a hint. And stop stroking my hair. I've been denied all the best ultra sex. I've been denied all the best ultra sex. 
Exhausted. I can't believe after all that she still won't acknowledge me as her friend. Oh, hey there, Tomahome. Thanks for untying me. You know, there's something strange about that Noriko. You know how she's always snuggling with me? Yeah? How's that strange? I can't feel her breasts at all. What? You mean there's someone with tinier boobs than me? Oh, that poor girl. Now I'm even more determined. I must become friends with her no matter what. Actually, I was implying that Noriko might not even be a woman. But whatever you say, go for it. <laughs> 